Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can mount a Teleview 60 to your SCT telescope. Okay, so the Teleview 60 is a small 360 millimeter focal length, 60 millimeter aperture apochromatic refractor, which is a great super portable uh, refractor for getting really wide field views and those occasional glance at planets and that kind of thing when you don't want to bring out your big telescope. But I also bought it because it can make a fantastic finder for your bigger telescope and allow you to get two different views at the same time on the same mount. And so today we're gonna to look at two, really three ways you can mount this Teleview 60 on your SCT telescope. So let's look at the options here at the workbench. Okay, so here is the Teleview 60 telescope, and I had a review of this that you can check out as well. There'll be a link here on the screen plus down in the description. And here are the options you have to mount this on an SCT or really any other telescope. So the telescope does come with this dovetail rail, and you can use that to mount it on this Teleview SCT mounting block. And that will just slide on the bottom of this rail here, and you can adjust you know, where, where you have it and everything, but, but that will allow you to mount it directly on your SCT or other telescope. Now, the downside, of course, here is that you have no adjustments other than forward and backwards for balance. You can't adjust it up or down or left or right to get it perfectly in alignment with your SCT. Of course, as long as you have the plate you know, mounted evenly on a telescope, you're not gonna be too far out of alignment, but you won't be exactly in alignment. So if you wanna use an eyepiece with a crosshair on it and get it perfectly matched up with your telescope view you know, on your bigger SCT, it may not be lined up exactly. But if you're just going for you know, kind of a wide field view of what's in your, you know, your SCT view, and maybe you already have another you know, finder scope you're using anyway, this can work out fine and it's kind of an easy way to do things. Um, you can obviously easily move it on and off of your telescope and it'll work just fine. Now this does come as part of a Teleview mounting kit here to use your, your uh, Teleview 60 as a finder scope. So the way this works is you have your adjustments here on here so you can adjust things left and right. So for example, you can loosen the thumb screw on this side while you tighten it on this side or vice versa, loosen it on this side and tighten it on this side. And that's gonna shift this over from left to right. So you can do that. And then for up and down as well, you basically use these two screws here to kind of adjust your up and down motion, which you can kind of see here how that works. And so you can do that and get everything perfectly in alignment. Now, you can basically take this thumb screw off, take the thumb screw off the plate that comes with the Teleview 60, slide this off of your Teleview 60, and then you slide your Teleview 60 on, onto this one. And so that's how you would have it mounted. You would have this on your SCT, your Teleview 60 you know, on here, and then you can get everything perfectly in alignment, and that can work out nicely for you to use this as a finder. Now the downside of this setup here is that while you can get it perfectly in alignment with your telescope for use as a finder, it does mount your telescope over three inches above your SCT. And so it does kind of make it farther away from the center of mass of your SCT and that can create more balance issues. So your third option is this Celestron mounting plate that goes onto your SCT. And this is kind of designed for putting a DSLR camera on top of your SCT. So you could be tracking, doing a high powered you know, imaging with your SCT while you have a, a DSLR doing a low power imaging session. But you can also use it to mount your Teleview 60 on there or any other small telescope. So this is basically a regular quarter inch screw. So you can have your, so you can just put your mounting dovetail rail here, get that tightened up slide on your Teleview 60 and you're pretty much good to go. So the downside here again is kind of like the other one. It is going to put your Teleview about three inches above the level of a telescope. This does though give you, you can obviously tw twist this a little bit back and forth and get things lined up that way. You, you still do, though, do not have any up and down motion. So that's the downside there. The uh, positive thing about using this though is that you can really quickly get your telescope on and off of your SCT. And it's very easy to do with this thumb screw. So if you're, if you're just trying to get a general low power view on your telescope, this is sort of a nice way to go as is just using this mounting 
plate here that comes with the XY adapter that Teleview sells, and then just putting the telescope directly on that and doing things that way. That's a nice, easy way to do things. Keeps your telescope the closest to your SCT. Anyway, let's go ahead and install these on the telescope itself. So your SCT has different mounting points all the way around the uh, perimeter here. And this is where I actually had things mounted before, and so I didn't bother putting the screws all the way back in. So I can quickly take them back out and show you how things attach. So very simple installation. You're just going to go ahead and mount things through the included openings here. And you will need to take the thumb screw out before you can put the other mounting screw in. And you can put your, your screw here that you tighten things down with. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around because the little stop screw is on this side. And then you can slide your Tele-V60 back in the scope and tighten things down. And then be sure to put the thumb screw back in here in the top so you don't slide your refractor off the edge during the night. And you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so you can see the setup here where I have a Tele-V60 mounted in that plate there. So I have my higher power views here in my main SCT, and then I can have my low power views here, you know, 15, 20 X, whatever, on the Teleview 60. This is sort of a very quick way to do things. Now let's swap this out and use the XY adapter and see how that looks. For the XY adapter, you just slide that in here as well. Tighten that down. Then you slide your Teleview 60 here on top of this rail and you have the same setup, but now you can align things precisely with your SCT with the XY adapter, and so if you have a crosshair eyepiece on here, you can actually use this as an actual finder. But you can see here this does mount the telescope pretty far above the SCT, and again, that can create some balance problems for you and make things a little bit trickier to use overall. So now let's take this one off. Okay, and with this adapter on here, this is pretty straightforward. You can just take your mounting plate, Get that tightened down, slide your Teleview on there, and now you're good to go once again. But obviously in this configuration here, this eyepiece is fairly close to this one down here, and so this works better if I slide the uh, mount over to these screws down here, then that kind of moves the telescope over a few inches, and you have an alignment closer to what I had here in the previous setup. So anyway, that's a quick look at a few different options for mounting a Teleview 60 onto your SCT telescope. Having this combination is really nice, and you don't have to have a Teleview 60. You could do this probably with something besides it in terms of a similar sized uh, refractor, but having a small refractor like this on your SCT makes for a really nice combination. Uh, again, you can't certainly get you know your two, three, four degree field of views out of an SCT, and so having a small refractor where you can get those wide views is really nice. So you have, you know, side by side, two magnification options for looking at an object. And you can see whatever it is you're looking at here and then kind of get the broader picture of how things look in the refractor telescope, which is really nice. And obviously, again, this is a very luxury finder to have on a CT. But if you can afford it, it is something to consider. So if you do have a Teleview 60 or you're thinking about picking one up, these are a few of the ways in which you can mount it to your SCT. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.